episode is brought to you by Pentesta Academy, the leader of online cybersecurity education. Join more than 10,000 professionals from over 120 countries to learn security online. I'm Damien from Pentesta Academy TV and I want to welcome you to another episode of The Toolbox where we showcase the latest and greatest open source tools. Add them to your tool collection today. Let's take a look at X-Men by Xiang Li. Hello everyone, this is Xiang Li. Next, I will introduce our fast network scanner tool, XMAP. At the bottom, me, I'm a PhD candidate from Tsinghua University and a, a member of Network and Information Security Lab. My research interests include network security, IPv6 security, and DNS security. My homepage is also listed, and I'm glad to discuss everything about security. So, what is XMAP? XMAP is a fast network scanner designed for performing internet-wide IPv6 and IPv4 network research scanning. So, in the following, I will describe why we developed XMAP and our new IPv6 network scanning method, as well as what XMAP can do and what we did with XMAP. In the end, I will show a small demo. So, in the IPv4 internet, researchers often use the network scanning approach to find devices to uncover vulnerabilities, track bonus behaviors, and so on. However, IPv6 brings in 128 base addresses and makes IPv4 style brute force scanning not workable. And researchers introduced cans of techniques to discover active IPv6 hosts. However, these methods are not real-time and not large-scale. So, we aim to discover the IPv6 network periphery from a new scanning perspective. Using the IPv6 address a location principle. In the IPv6 internet, kinds of devices need home routers to access the internet, and the SP usually assigns IPv6 prefixes rather than addresses. So each home network is a public IPv6 network, and all devices have their public addresses. Among them, the home router, which is the last hop rooted infrastructure, is the periphery that we want to find and is more important. And there are many peripheries in the SP network. Besides, Mobile devices can also turn into peripheries by getting IPv6 prefixes. So, how to find the periphery? In fact, each periphery is assigned an IPv6 prefix and construct its own network. The attacker can send a packet to any address in the home network. If the packet hits a target, it will return a replay message, and the attacker finds the target device. However, there is large address space for the devices to generate, and it is nearly impossible to hit a valid target. Therefore, the home router will generate a destination and reachable message and use its own address to send it back. In the end, the attacker can find the router by sending just one packet. Now, we can find one periphery 
so to discover all the periphery with an FP number, we propose to scan the IPv6 prefix space. This is probing each sub prefix once for any address under it. <coughs> then, based on ZMAP, we developed XMAP. XMAP is rewritten thoroughly from ZMAP, ZMAP and supports both IPv6 and IPv4 with more functions. We also implement our fast IPv6 periphery discovery method into XMAP, as well as the multiple pod probing modules. And XMAP is also compatible with ZMAP, and everyone can join and use it. With XMAP, we evaluate the fast IPv6 network periphery discovery approach, and we find more than 50 million IPv6 peripheries, and many of them exposed unintended services to the internet. Besides, we find a routing loop vulnerability, which affects at least 20 router windows and 4 OSs. In the end, we received 131 vulnerability numbers. Our research has been presented in DSN 2021 conference, and to get more information, you can check our paper. I will now discuss more about them. Next, I will introduce some basic using profiles, and there are many probing modules of XMAP. To see them, just use the list probe modules arguments, and to see help information about each module, just add the module now, then pass the arguments, fill out the options, and start XMAP. For more using information, you can check our usage files. And by default, XMAP scans the slash 32 address space of IPv6 and output a lab addresses to the screen. And as you can see, some lab IPv6 addresses are discovered by XMAP. And in the future, I will read the GitHub wiki about how XMAP works and some usage guidance and, and more probing modules, some of which have been implemented. For example, the DS probing module takes two files as, as input and can query each domain in the domain list, targeting servers in the server list. And the source address spoofing module can fake source addresses randomly. Then I'm considering a stateful scanning module for some special scanning. So this is XMAP and what you can do. Thank you all for your attention. Thank you, Xiangli, for the wonderful presentation and demo that you have presented earlier. You know, uh, before we end off the whole session, I do have one question for you. Uh, what inspired you to create this tool? Okay, uh, thank you, Damien, for inviting me for uh, for this 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 share. Yeah, it's a nice question. You know, mostly the security of the internet depends on the security of application services and devices. And it's necessary to discover them and analyze their security issues. However, in the IPv4 internet, network scanning is 
effective to find the devices and uncover vulnerabilities. Tools like ZMap and MathScan have done a lot for it. But IPv6 brings in more addresses and makes boot for scanning not workable. And the security issues of IPv6 devices are invisible to us and to the researchers. So it's a bad news for the internet security. So we aim to break this impossibility and propose a practical method to find these IPv6 devices. So we create these two XMAP and make the IPv6 scanning possible. And we discover massive IPv6 addresses and devices. Besides, we open source XMAP and hope it can contribute to the research community. Yeah, so we create uh, the XMAP and uh, hope it can do a lot for the IPv6 uh, scan. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Xiangli, for your sharing, you know, and I think that you will really help uh, the community in this area. And, you know, uh, we, we Pentester Academy TV really appreciate uh, you taking the time off to come and present this tool uh, and demo the tool. We do hope that the community will feedback to you, you know, on the future works that you presented uh, earlier on in your presentation that they can help to contribute more in XMAP. Thank you so much, Sang Lee, for coming on board to this episode of The Toolbox. Thank you so much. And yeah, thank you. Thank you, Damien. Thank you, Sang Lee, once again for coming on board to this episode of The Toolbox. For more information on this tool, do see our description box below. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned to the next episode of The Toolbox.